Today we're going to be talking about one of the coolest Chinese made motorcycles called the Lafon. Lafon Industries started in 1992 and from 1992 to 2004 they were called Hongda. Due to some legal issues they changed that name to Lafon Industries and with the help of MV Augusta they started producing small compact motorcycles, cars and vans. One of the motorcycles that we're going to be talking about is this one. This is the KP Mini, 150cc four-stroke air-cooled motorcycle. The family-owned company that created this motorcycle, Lafon Industries, created something that is not only compact, but it's also fun. It has a sporty look that some competitors just haven't quite grasped yet. And you can see the shape of it is just phenomenal. It's very compact, just like I said before, but it also looks good. Some of the things that I really like about this motorcycle is these integrated signals. Some of the things that companies do nowadays is they have these bulky little turn signals that come way out here and it just doesn't look good. Another thing is the integrated tail light. You can see that it has the turn signal, the brakes, and it's got, he put this aftermarket uh, license plate holder, but it makes this whole piece here look a lot more aesthetically pleasing. Instead of this bulky thing with these huge turn signals and this really crappy design. This looks really good. It's clean. It's precise. So one of the other things that I really like that the owner did is he put these aftermarket levers on it. What this lever does is when it, it when your bike goes down this will come up and it won't break off which is really nice because it'll save you you know 50 bucks or so. Just a cool little feature. One of the quirks about this motorcycle though is if you come check this out this has absolutely no it doesn't actually do anything for the motorcycle, but it looks kind of cool. You have these, what would almost be like allowing more air in, but it's closed off, so it doesn't do anything. The other thing is this motorcycle is air-cooled, so having more air go in would be nice. I guess it doesn't really matter, and I'm sure that it saves more money to not cut those out, but it's a little fun little quirk of this motorcycle. Another thing that he did to this motorcycle, and I'm gonna show you with a little bit of a sound clip later on, is if you come over here, he put this exhaust on it. Now, it's KP Moto Club, which um, I believe is specific to this style of motorcycle, the smaller 150cc motorcycles and lower. Um, is, it's a full system exhaust and it sounds really good. So I wanna get a little clip of that and show you what it sounds like not stock, because stock is way too quiet and it's basically worthless. Now I will say for the camera's sake, uh, it's not cold. I have been riding it for a little while, so I didn't just start up a motorcycle that's got a cold engine. I know some of y'all hate that, and it's not good for the bike, so let's listen to it for a little while. So this motorcycle has an LCD digital display, which is really cool. Um, it has some really cool stuff on it. You can see that the um, RPMs are on, that go all the way up through the top and the rev limiter is way up here. It revs up to 8,000 perfectly fine and um, 
it, it doesn't really spit out like some motorcycles do. The smaller motorcycles, they'll you get it up real high and it doesn't give you any more power. This has enough torque and high end power that it'll continue to give you um, more until you get to fifth gear and then obviously there's nothing more. <laughs> 50 miles an hour, um, 60 on a, it, it will get up to 60, but it's not the fastest motorcycle. Just remember that it's more torque than anything else. Another thing is you can see that it does have a gear indicator, which is really nice. Right now it's in neutral and that's up on the top right hand side. Um, I like that it's not in the display. Um, I don't know why I like that particularly, but it doesn't show up right in the center. Um, and then it does have like the reset button and it has different modes. You can see the odometer, you can see how many miles you've gone, like the trip if you want to track how much uh, you can get on one tank of gas. A uh, little cool, and then it ha does have a display for the time. Um, it is tiny, but when you're riding, the angle of the screen makes it a lot more visible. You can see it a lot better when you're riding it. So when you're actually riding the motorcycle, the cool thing that I like about it is when you're sitting on it, you are in a very comfortable position. It's, it's upright, and then the handlebars aren't like this. You're not scrunched up in the bike. They're out a little bit further. And what I like about that as a taller person is it makes it more comfortable for me to ride for a little bit longer period. Yeah, one of the things that the owner has done to this motorcycle that I want to do to mine, on a normal motorcycle, the uh, gears or the shifter, the lever, the rear set, it's one down, five up. So the first gear is all the way down, neutral, and then the rest of the, uh, the high, lower gears are up. On this motorcycle, he has it changed. So first gear is way up here, it's up, neutral, and then five down. It's called GP shifting. It's just a nice little quirk or feature that I like about the motorcycle and I wish more motorcycles would integrate. I thought the kickstand was not down so I was trying to put it down, whatever. Well, you must not know anything about motorcycles. I don't know anything about motorcycles, can't you tell? As you can see, he's very good at riding in circles. <laughs> well, you only need two parking spots to turn around completely. That's pretty cool. It's got a good turning radius. Might help if I started out in first gear instead of second. Sounds so good. So I didn't. I thought you had to have like a lot more speed on it. Oh no! This got so much torque. Yeah, it's got it's got 30 percent more torque than other competitors. So that's great. All right, now let's go for a ride. 